last night. He got treatment this morning. He's been in treatment most of the afternoon. The leg just hasn't responded enough to the point where they feel comfortable putting him out there. So the Warriors have to decide. Either Nick Young or their very impressive young big man, Kevon Looney, are the likely replacements for Iguodala. The differences are obvious. Young is a much more talented offensive player, but not as good defensively, whereas Looney has been outstanding defensively and is not the threat offensively that Nick Young would be. So it's a decision that Steve Kerr is going to make. Either way, the bench gets much more reduced without Andre Iguodala there, and the Hamptons lineup is really diminished because he's been such a big part of that. Now with the story about the Rockets, let's go over to Kristen Ledlow. Well, D.A., those Warriors took a 2-1 lead after that commanding 41-point win here at Oracle in Game 3. And now the Rockets know they need to tie the series before it shifts back home. But despite that narrative surrounding the series that concerns the adjustments the Rockets could make, Coach Tony and his team have maintained the position that they won't stray too far from the system that won 65 games this season. They'll be who they are, but they'll be better. Here's what else Coach D'Antoni had to say when he addressed You've got to make some adjustments. you got to do certain things that we can do better. Um, but we, you know, we can't make, miss 23 shots in the paint. You can't turn the ball over 20 times. Just those two stats alone. Last night, we'd have got to be probably on the road at any city in, in the NBA. So you can't do that. Not against these guys. They're not going uh, to let you. To beat these guys, and they're good. Uh, we have to have our A game. We had our C game, and, and you're not going to do it, especially on their court. So, um, again, I, I try to look on the bright side. The bright side is we can play much better, and we have to. And it was in the fourth quarter of game three that D'Antoni not only pulled his starters, but he told them to get their minds right for game four. James Harden, though, again maintains the position that his mindset has never wavered. Always. Never changes. We might get whooped by 40, we might lose by two, we might win by 20, but our same swagger, our same confidence is always there. The Rockets are averaging 16.7 turnovers, which is the highest of any team that's in the conference finals. So expect fewer turnovers, a more physical presence on the defensive end, and for them to get back sooner in transition on D. Ernie? Yeah, thank you very much, Christian. Yeah, that. Uh... That turnover uh, situation, 17 a game in this series. They came in averaging the fewest in the playoff field. But again, more turnovers than assists in game three. Mike D'Antoni says all the pressures on Golden State, Shaq. You buying what he's selling? Not really. You know, pressure's really on the Rockets. Uh, you know, some people have the Rockets favorite. Uh, they can play much better. The question is, we've been asking this question all week. Uh, which Rockets team is going to show up. He made some great points. They do have to uh, play better. Can't turn the ball over 20, 20 times.